Are you ready to paint the edgiest faction in all of Warhammer history? Well, it's time to become the ultimate edgelord. Are you ready to become the ultimate psychopath that strikes by night? Or cause fear in your enemies? Or stupidly send them to an insane asylum? Well, look no further. I will teach you how to paint the edgiest of the night boys in all of Warhammer. Let's get started. Step one. We're going to paint the entire model in Cantor blue. It's okay if you paint over the little fleshy areas or the little metal parts because we'll go back and paint over those later. Step two, we're going to use Kisa flesh to paint those little fleshy areas. Third step, we're going to use gold to paint all those little gold areas. You really want to focus on those trims along the shoulders, the arms, and the legs. Fourth step, we're going to use Iron Warriors to paint all the little metal areas. For me, it was mostly the chains, including the hooks that were also in the skulls, as well as the little fin things on the side of the legs and the vent things on the back. For the fifth step, we're going to use Ushabi Bone to paint all the skulls on the mini. We're going to use Corn Red for the Night Lord Emblem. It's easier if you water down your paint just slightly. And it'll be easier to kind of get some of those little details in. And we're going to do it on the shoulder pad as well as the forehead. We're going to use a white to paint the little emblem on the shoulder, that little skull, as well as the one on the forehead and that little skull area on the face. We are going to use a contrast black templar or a slightly watered down abaddon black to paint all the coils as well as those little joint areas on the mini. Now for my favorite part, we're going to use Agrax Earthshade. We're gonna paint the entire mini in it, but that little flesh part, we're gonna leave that alone. If you have a buildup of wash in a certain area, just use a dry brush and soak up some of it so it doesn't leave a gross watermark.
For the fleshy bit, we're gonna use Contrast Dark Oath Flesh, and we're just gonna paint over the area. And if you don't have the contrast paint, just use Seraphim Sepia. Now for those general areas of highlights, we're gonna use Cantor Blue. We're just gonna use a larger brush, because it's easier to blend, and we're just gonna stipple it over just general larger areas. We want to stay away from ex the edges, especially the bottom, and just kind of hit top ridges in just little general areas. For even brighter highlights, we're going to mix Administratum Gray with Cantar Blue. I did mostly kind of equal mixes between the two, so it wasn't like too heavy on either side. And I did this because I just wanted kind of a duller, lighter blue versus using like Caldor Sky, that'd be like a blueberry. So we mix it together and then we're gonna dry brush it first on a paper towel. And then we're gonna wanna focus on some of the upper edges in some areas that we think light would probably hit the mini. And then I even switched over to a smaller brush and hit some of those hard to reach areas and added like little scratches throughout the mini. Now for the lightning effect, we're gonna use Niolock Oxide. We're going to make little, like little swiggles with sharp points. I kind of started from the top and just worked my way down, just kind of going randomly. And then on the shin, I made a line on the top all the way across. And then from there, I did the little lines and little zigzags and try to make it look like lightning. You don't want too much on your brush, but you want enough on your brush to kind of have an easy flow of making it work. We're going to use Menfeast in Red for the bright highlights on the emblem, which for me was on the shoulder as well as the forehead. You just want to make sure that your paint's thin enough, so water it down just slightly. So you kind of hit some of those hard to reach areas. You can also just kind of use the end of your brush and just hit some of those high points. We're gonna go back to gold for highlights on the gold and we're gonna to wanna to focus on top of the rims in areas that light are going to hit. So I kind of did like the top of the rims on the shoulders and the knees and also on the little skeleton as well, like in the forehead and the eyebrow area. We're gonna use Iron Breaker or just a bright silver, and we're gonna to wanna to focus on highlighting those metal areas. For me, it was those back vent things, as well as those little side things on the side of the leg. And all of those little chains, it's really gonna make them pop. We're just gonna use the side of the brush and we're just gonna try to highlight them while staying away from the middle. Now, if you want to make even brighter highlights on the gold, we're gonna use that same silver and we're just gonna hit those very top peaks where light would hit. We wanna be very selective. So you don't wanna overdo it. So just hit little slight areas um, little slight areas on the rims, kind of areas where you just use that gold to do the highlights. You want to use the silver and just do less on top of it. For highlights on the skull, we're going to use Ushapi Bone and we just want to focus on those very bright highlights on it. So it's like, you know, around the eyebrows and the cheekbones. What are you still doing here? 
if you're here this long go subscribe or watch my next video and if you want even more content check out my gaming channel at nuka kitten gaming bye